wind, but fire. A fire that has ravaged the Southgate Plaza and West Seneca. Eyewitness newsman Carl Brown is with a live eye at the plaza right now. Carl? Well, Irv, as you can probably see behind me, this fire is nearly out. The volunteer crews here are simply hosing it down. It's been a long, hard battle for them, but you know, not everyone out here is pleased with the job they've done tonight. The brand name store was glowing like an open furnace this evening. The searing flames were sparked by an electrical box explosion in the rear. Paula Banuski called in the fire about 5.10 p.m., and she says 10 other employees were standing outside about five minutes later when the first crews showed up. As we got out, the fire whistles blew, and it seemed like it took about a half an hour before the fire, firemen did anything. Two pumpers from Vigilant with a crew of eight were first on the scene, but they couldn't pinpoint the fire. Less than a half hour later, they were joined by crews from the other West Seneca Volunteer Fire Departments, including nearby Newton Abbott and Springville. But brand name store manager wanted the fire contained in the rear of the building behind a center dividing wall, and he says there wasn't enough manpower on hand initially to do that. The thing that made me upset is this is a big area here, and there were the volunteer fire department, there wasn't enough men to take and, and try to get in there right away. When we got in the back, there was no visible fire. It was all up in the ceilings. It's all false ceilings. Okay, there's a ceiling and then the roof, so it was a raceway. The fire was just running through the ceilings. The ceiling started to collapse. I pulled my men out. You can rebuild the ceiling, rebuild the building. You can't rebuild the guy's life. We could add a million men here. The fire could not have been uh, contained. The volunteers attacked the stubborn blaze from Citibank next door, trying to push it to the opposite north side to keep it from spreading. The flames roared into the night, fueled by plastics and other stock material, and by 9 tonight, a bulldozer was brought in to help smother the flames. From Sky 7, you can see brand names was totally gutted by the fire. It chewed through the roof and didn't spare any part of the store. Only two blaze busters suffered minor smoke inhalation while battling the scorcher. Now, you would think that this devastating fire would spell doom for Southgate Plaza, facing stiff competition from the newly opened McKinley Mall, but that's not so. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Travers talked with some folks tonight armed with big plans to keep the customers coming in. It's really sad to see something like this happen. Well, we're here every day. It's a heck of a thing to see go down the drain. Personally, I, I do my shopping here, so it, it'll affect me in some ways. But don't write off the plaza as a place to park your pocketbook. I um, did talk to the manager of the Southgate Plaza, and he reassured me that they will rebuild uh, brand names and uh, certainly restore any other buildings that you know were affected by the fire. It doesn't look like brand names will be open for a while. However, most of the other stores in this plaza plan to be open tomorrow. The plaza shut down today for the safety of the people that work here and the people that shop here. But tomorrow, every store except brand names will be open for business as usual. How at this point has the fire affected your store, if at all? Uh, not at all. There's a little bit of smoke, but uh, nothing really. Too bad. The firemen were able to contain it at uh, brand names and Citibank. Uh, Mr. Krasner next door has damage, but I am the next door over, and it hasn't seemed to have affected me at all. And you might even be able to catch some hot deals. Mary Travers, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at the Southgate Plaza. Okay, right now the uh, building is um, pretty much being knocked down. This fire is just about out. You can see it's almost, uh, there's nothing left of the building. Well, the only thing we have to wait for, Irv, is uh, an official damage estimate uh, and a, an official cause on the fire, but neither of those will probably uh, won't be known until tomorrow. It's been a tough night, and I guess we're just thankful no one was seriously injured or hurt. Reporting with the Channel 7 Live Eye from Southgate Plaza, I'm Carl Brown. Back to you, Irv. Fine job, Carl. Thank you. So now say they can't be sure about what sparked yesterday's million-dollar blaze at the brand-name stores in West Seneca Southgate Plaza. Firefighters have been on the scene all night, hosing down the smoldering ruins. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Travers was on the scene this morning. She has this report. Fire investigators were able to see last night's smoky fire in a new light today and say they may never know what sparked the blaze. It's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be totally impossible, but we'll make an attempt. But uh, right now, I, I believe that uh, it'll probably end up undetermined. Shop cleanups are underway as firefighters continue to shower what's left of brand names, which up until yesterday was the chain's busiest local branch. We hope to uh, start rebuilding as soon as possible, but, you know, the 
testimony. Time will tell how long it'll take. It's hard to say until they get this cleared out of here. Plaza officials have so far refused comment on the fire and how it will affect profits at Southgate. However, neighborhood residents have a few ideas. Another big store like this with, with, with Sears, both, you know, that's just hoping they'll keep the fingers crossed that they rebuild and resettle again here. Will you alter your shopping plans now that this has happened, do you think? Not really. We'll miss it, though. Meantime, it's business more or less as usual today at the plaza. Well, outside a little smoke damage, I don't think. I think we fared very luckily. And the firemen here did a nice job. But uh, we're here and we're going to go ahead. Mary Travers, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at the Southgate Plaza.